Hello and welcome, you guys. Come on in. I'm getting ready to. I've got cards popping all over the place, and I'm not quite ready. <laughs> Again, they're jumping out at me. Um, must be a powerful message that needs to come through. We are going to start this shuffle again. This is just a daily general reading. It's just to let you know how the energy for the collective may be. It's not going to resonate with everybody. There we go. About time we get another jumper. We had, I had them jumping out in chapters. A little too thick, too many cards at one time. I like to call them a, it's a chapter in your book. All right. Um, I do have the paranormal flashlight set up behind me on the desk there. It, it has been working throughout the readings for today, off and on. Uh, it will validate either direction, whether it's on or off. It is just spirit letting us know that they are in the conversation. Alrighty, let's see what's happening for you guys today. <clears throat> Got some change coming. Uh, you know, isn't that what readings are about? It's just about the change that's coming. Every day there's change. Um, it, because somebody asked me, Tina, all your readings are about change. Who wants a reading about staying the same? <laughs> it's a change every day. You know, the sun comes up, it's a change of a day. All right, but we have a page coming up here. Um, and he's letting us know that there's change coming. Just that simple. Now, you have made the choice with the Six of Swords to move on. Leaving something go and you dodged a bullet here. This was a very toxic connection. Um, just kind of going to move forward with your life and leave the drama behind. We have the Three of Wands. Uh, three of Wands came up in reverse. And you manifested this. This Three of Wands is usually about things manifesting, coming true, things that we worked for and prayed for. Um, upside down you you really manifested this cluster that you've got going okay you didn't do any of the right things in the right time nothing got accomplished like it should have you were reluctant to make a choice so shit just happened all around you you can't blame it on anybody else because as soon as you take the victim mode, it's giving the other person consent to continue to dump on you. Okay. And you know, you were reluctant here with this four of cups to make the choice. Very reluctant to walk away. Um, discouraged. We go from the four of cups to the uh, five of cups here. Something didn't work out like you wanted it. You had um, intentions of this new, new relationship, this new connection. You would hope things were going to work out in your favor, you know, that happily ever after thing, but it didn't happen. Something came to light during the last full moon, which was maybe less than a week ago here. And then we had an eclipse. Then we had Mercury retrograde. But it was a very dynamic time. And a lot of things happened for a lot of people all over the place. It is... You're dealing with somebody who even may even have been bipolar. That's why, it, that's why it didn't go like you had anticipated. You know, you were expecting um, 
their behavior to be one way and it didn't happen. Almost a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of thing. And that's kind of what this card kind of portrays. One dog is a wild dog. One dog is a domestic dog. We have the two pillars or polars in the back. Bipolar. Um, and the person that you had this connection with, um, again, the moon shows up here. It, th this connection didn't come to light until this moon, who they were, um, how deeply their darkness ran. We have the devil card. It's all about a toxic connection. It is as toxic with this connection as it gets. There were, could have possibly been drugs or alcohol involved. Um, this person was trying to keep you under control using drugs or alcohol. Uh, codependency, big deal here. And it may very well result in something legal. Now, oftentimes the hangman is enlightenment and sometimes legal issues when they smack you in the face, the light comes on. The hangman also can indicate being stuck in one place for a while. And if you go to jail, so you better pull your shit together. Don't allow this to happen because you're connected to somebody that is very negative. All right. Hey, I'm going to grab another deck here. Um, you know, nowadays, everybody, you know, we've all got that connection where there's somebody in our circle that is dealing with a drug or alcohol problem. And we've seen that, you know, snowball and go downhill for them. Brings legal issues around. They don't take care of their bills. Uh, they've got tax collectors at the door, that kind of thing. That one wanted, it flipped over a couple times in my hand, so I'm going to let it go. It wanted out. Spirit, I need another jumper, please. There, there it is. Well, that's one, but I need one more. There it is. All right, we've got the two of cups. It came up straight up and down. This is making me feel as though this, this is a new connection coming up. It's not something old. It's not something that's been around. And it's not a reconciliation because that's not going to happen. Unless both people come into back into a relationship with completely new energy, with completely new outlooks. You have to come totally refreshed. You can't bring a past energy back into a, a, a reconnection or it'll fall hell apart again on you again. That moon card came up a second time. It is very powerful. I feel like something did happen through that that period between the new or the full moon. Excuse me. Yeah, the full moon and Mercury retrograde. I was going to go back as far as um, Pluto or excuse me. Uh, da, 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 I think it was Neptune was retrograde too. But it, it is something that. Uh, and again, I'm feeling that bipolar issue, like somebody was just out of sorts. They may not be on medications that they need to be on. Um, they're playing with medications they shouldn't be on. That's what's going on here. Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That's somebody who wants to help. She's loving. She's caring. She's got resources. She can help. We also have the Ten of Cups that came up. Once you step away from that issue, once you step away from that connection that is toxic, 
you're going to get your Ten of Cups. You're going to be able to wrap up that cycle. You're going to be able to start fresh. And it's kind of like the Joker card. Here it is. You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities through this deck. May you find a path to your best self. All right, you guys, there you have it. Daily message. I hope that resonated with somebody. If it does, drop down and hit that like button. And help me get back into um, YouTube's algorithms. All right. I never leave you guys. I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.